parent knows the challenge of keeping bellies full between meals, but we've got a snack that might do the trick. Yeah, Feed Your Family Tonight founder and family dinner coach Marie Feebach joining us in the studio now. Marie, thank you so much for being here. How are you? Oh, Shane, I'm doing great. It's nice to be here. My kids start school this week, and so we're kind of thinking after school snacks mm -hmm. because that first week, my kids come home and they are hungry and they are tired. Mm -hmm. And today we have a recipe that's kind of more of a mini meal. You know, there's two kinds of snacks. There's the lighter snacks that kind of keep them and so you can have an early dinner or the ones that need to be a little bit heartier to get them ready to go off to a sports practice or something sure. and you kind of want to fill their bellies. This is in the fill their bellies category and it's ham and cheese biscuits. But these are really, really simple. It starts with a cup and a half of this white whole wheat flour and that adds a little bit of fiber, which I always like. And then we're adding two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I use table salt for this because you want the tiny granules that actually absorb. Then I'm gonna add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese and a cup of diced ham. And that's about four ounces of each. I don't use expensive fancy ham. I buy the stuff in the tub for this because it's gonna get baked in. So whatever kind of ham you happen to have or like. And then to that, when you make biscuits, you need a fat. So I'm gonna stir this up just a little bit so that we don't end up with big clumps. And then we're gonna add heavy cream. And the heavy cream works instead of having to cut in butter or shortening, it adds the fat to the biscuit dough. And this is a cup and a half of heavy cream. And you're just gonna stir that to make a stiff dough. Now, I don't know, do you guys like biscuits? I love a biscuit. That's <laughs> yeah. my very favorite. When I saw that this is what you were making, I was excited. And this is a, a different twist on a biscuit as well, especially if you're not looking for something that's kind of sweet. Right, this is something savory. And honestly, I, this would work great as a little on-the-go breakfast. If you're trying to get your kids breakfast in the car, you yeah. can make this ahead of time too. Once you've got this into a stiff dough, it makes about 12 biscuits and I use this number 24 red scoop. I have it linked in the post at Feed Your Family tonight because then you don't have to really measure. You can just kind of scoop them out. They're gonna bake in a 425 degree oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. So you can see it takes a minute to put together and less than 15 minutes to bake. So it really is a quick and easy after school snack or something that you can make in the morning to send your kids off with a little bit something that's a little heartier in their oh, yeah. tummies. Yeah, uh, Marie, I did notice that you use the white whole wheat flour. So if you're using whole wheat, is it not gonna turn out right? It, it's gonna, you might need a little more cream. The whole wheat's actually gonna absorb a little bit more water. So if your dough's a little bit too stiff because you've used a regular whole wheat flour, you may have to add just a little bit more liquid. But either way, it works. Mm -hmm. What oh, do you think? It does work. Now, especially when you think about the kids, you know, like you're giving them something new. New food with a kid is always a little risky, but gotta risk it to get the biscuit. <laughs> You know, and that's just it. You find, and you know, if your kids don't like ham, you could put in turkey. Sure. You could, you could take out the ham and just do them with cheese. There's a lot of variations that you can do on this, but it's just something that is a little bit heartier after school snack. Yeah. yeah, this snack, in addition to all the others you've been bringing this month, that's kind of the focus is trying to get back into that routine. We know that when they, like you said, when the kiddos come home, they're gonna be expecting something. They're gonna be hungry. Well, and if, you, if your kids are anything like mine, my kids kind of grazed all summer long, and so when you go to like breakfast, lunch, and then it's after school, and they're like, we are starving, mom, yeah. and we need a snack, and I know that my kids are not alone like this, so I try this first week of school to have hearty snacks around. I also try and have dinner a little bit earlier because they're tired. Yeah. And so eat dinner a little earlier, get them to bed, because it really is hard transitioning back to school. All right, well it is delicious, Marie, thank you very much. And we wanna talk about the resources that parents may have um, available to them through Feed Your Family tonight, uh, based on planning ahead, trying to get these weekly dinners uh, planned out. You know what, you wanna get my free weekly meal planning sheet. It's at feedyourfamilytonight.com slash plan. And if you have questions, always join me in the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group. I love connecting with cake viewers there. Such a good resource finder on Instagram as well. Always kind of talking through these um, situations too. You've been talking through this first week of school on your Instagram, letting people know how you do it in your house. Uh, it's very helpful to see. So let's take a look at that information one more time. You can see Marie every Monday right here on Good Morning Cakeland or find her on our website, feedyourfamilytonight.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>